All right, let's go ahead and talk about the weather now. And it's nice to see we're back to the no more red graphics. Red always indicates something bad's going on in the weather. And it's so nice to have pleasant temperatures outside, especially for August. That's exactly right. We're getting a break from the triple digit heat just for a couple of days, but it's enough when we don't have excessive heat warnings or heat advisories. We'll always take it, especially when we're in the middle of August. And we're even tracking some showers and thunderstorms as well. Now, additional cloud cover is going to help keep our temperatures down into the low to mid 90s this afternoon. But we do have non severe thunderstorms right along the Red River headed towards Tioga. So Gainesville, Whitesboro, you guys are starting to dry out. This will continue to track down to the southeast around Aubrey in the Salina area. And then just a few scattered showers around Jacksboro into Runaway Bay, even over through Denton and Collin counties. We're seeing a couple of showers out there, so don't be surprised if you run into a quick shower. It's not going to last very long, but we have had some pretty hefty rainfall totals from these thunderstorms. Look at this. We picked up a quick two to three inches of rain in just a very short amount of time, less than six hours right around Sherman, just north of Van Alstine and then right around Gainesville, picking up close to two inches of rain from these morning thunderstorms as well. We are going to see them kind of calming down through the midday hours, but later this afternoon we could see some more redevelopment, especially into central Texas where we had that level one marginal risk could even get an isolated storm with some damaging wind gusts associated with it. So on first alert future cast, you can see around three to four o'clock. We might have some more of those thunderstorms developing mainly south of I-20. As we get into the overnight hours, we'll see that convection dying down with the loss of the daytime heating. But tomorrow morning, we could even have a few more thunderstorms moving in from a disturbance passing through Oklahoma. So don't be surprised if we wake up to an isolated shower tomorrow morning. Most of us are going to stay dry through the weekend, though. Sunday, an isolated shower chance. Once again, mainly off to our north along the Red River or into Oklahoma. But the clouds are definitely a welcome sight as you're looking outside. Look at this. Our Arlington 87 degrees right now. We still have that heat index though feeling close to 93 and where it's dry and sunny around Cleburne and Hillsboro it actually feels closer to 102 to 104 right now. And that's where we're going to see our temperatures getting back to next week as high pressure returns to the area. So enjoy the little bit cooler temperatures that we're seeing right now, Karen.